Our focus is on trying to understand the genetic basis of common human diseases uh, to try and understand in time, to try and understand the diseases better, understand more about what makes people sick with a range of diseases. Uh, Genome-wide association studies measure the DNA at many places in a collection of sick people, maybe one or two thousand of them, and a collection of healthy people. And what we look for in the studies are places in the DNA where there are genetic variants which are more common in the sick people, uh, which would be the case if they tended to predispose people to the disease, or perhaps more common in the healthy people if there was some genetic variant which protected them from the disease. I'm sure that in time uh, genetics will be more and more important as part of healthcare. It's a bit hard to predict the timescales for that, but I think there are already a few examples where genetics can inform choices of drug therapies and so on, uh, and over time that will grow and grow and grow. It's hard to be certain, but my hope would be that we're at the very early stage of quite a long road, but nonetheless uh, have taken the first steps in really using genetics to try and help us learn more about many of the common human diseases, and then when we learn more about the diseases, find better ways to treat them, better ways to prevent them. We already do a little bit of genetic screening of babies at birth for a small number of genetic conditions. I think in time that might well grow, and it's quite possible that uh, at some stage in the future, probably quite a long way from where we are now, uh, DNA information will be collected routinely on people and potentially young babies uh, so that we can learn more about their healthcare challenges and then uh, ways of treating them. There are already a number of examples of drug therapies where our understanding of the drug target has been informed by genetics. Now because it takes 10 or 15 years to develop drugs, none of those uh, were direct results of genome-wide association studies, they were results of genetic studies 10, 15, 20 years ago. Uh, but I think there's every reason to think that some of the findings we're seeing from genome-wide association studies will over the same kind of time period lead to drugs for diseases which are currently difficult to treat.